Here we go again, the Simpsons side characters. I've casted these cartoons to see what they would look like in live action and the potential actors who could portray them. Now that I've done the family, the side characters of Springfield, as well as Homer's friends, we're moving on to the extended family and the neighbors surrounding them. Now I am using neighbors in a loose term because in the show neighbors come and go and they move locations. And really the only consistent one is Ned Flanders. So I'm kind of grouping a couple families in this connection. So for today's casting, we're tackling Ned Flanders, Maude Flanders, Patty and Selma, Abe Simpson, Reverend Lovejoy, Helen Lovejoy, and Kirk Van Hooten. So let's recast The Simpsons for live action. First up, let's tackle Ned Flanders. Now, Ned Flanders, of course, is a big one. He's one of the most important characters who has really been a big combatant for Homer and has evolved into some really great storylines within the show. Now, everyone has an idea on who they want to play Ned. So let's go through some of them. First off, we've got Brian Cranston, who I agree fits the bill perfectly. But I've seen that choice over and over again and almost feels like an SNL darker parody, especially with him playing Walter White in the past. And I just kind of see him in that angry vein even though he has done Malcolm in the Middle and does work really well here, would just not give me the Ned vibes I want. That being said, he is a really good choice. Next is Gary Ullman, which let's be honest, it's mainly just his look in the Batman trilogy, but he doesn't have that outgoing, that bubbly nature, that lightness that Ned needs. Lastly, and my favorite choice personally, is William H. Macy. He is great and I think he is perfect, but 2000s William H. Macy. Now I think he's kind of showing his age. He seems a little run down and I don't really think he can do what he used to do. That's why I went with Randy Havens. Now you may not know the name, but you know him as Mr. Clark from Stranger Things. I kind of love this choice just because it's out of left field. All the other ones we've seen over and over and online, but he's got that perfect nature. Ah, this must be our new student. Indeed it is, all yours. All right, hold up there. You don't get away that easy. Come on up, don't be shy. Dustin, drum roll. Class, please welcome, all the way from sunny California, the latest passenger to join us on our curiosity voyage, Maxine. It's Max. Sorry? Nobody calls me Maxine. It's Max. All aboard, Max. He doesn't look the most like Ned, but he's got that always looking on the bright side. His look, his overall presence, it feels great for this. He also feels like he wouldn't just be a cartoon character. He would naturally round out this character and make him believable, which I can't say for every actor out there. So Randy Havens as Ned Flanders. Next up, let's tackle Maude Flanders, Ned's wife. Now, Maude is something of a staple of the early seasons, until she dies, of course, by the hand of a t-shirt cannon, but I think it's important to include her here. She should feel soft and sweet and really have this subtle sexiness to her that really comes across. She needs to have that quality of, I don't even know how Ned got her, but still feel like that church-going wife. I ended up on Jenna Fisher, of course, from The Office, but I believe she has that perfect gentleness and that perfect level of just loving her boys and Ned, as well as she has that subtle sexiness that just comes across with her. Oh, so I guess Oscar and Jim were talking your ear off about the new copier, huh? Yes, they were. Yeah. They were. Here's what I was thinking. Everyone sits on a chair every day, mm -hmm. but not everyone sits on a copier. Or even uses the copier every day. Yeah. Yeah, right? Very valid. So Jenna Fisher as Maude Flanders. Up next, let's tackle Abe Simpson. Now, Abe is old. Let's be honest, that's his main characteristic. But beyond that, he should feel like a war veteran. And although he's kind of losing it a little bit, he's kind of weirdly funny and still exudes that. I think his storylines in the past are great, and it should definitely have that flavor coming through. Now, I think a lot of old men in Hollywood could pull this off, but a lot of them have like an angry, unsettling, ungrateful nature to them. Although Abe has that, it always seems to be in a playful nature. That's why my choice is Christopher Lloyd. I think he can do crazy, I mean, just look at his body of work, but he can also pull off that badass like we saw in Nobody. Thus, Fernanda. I think he would round out this character, have his weird dementia, but in a funny, playful way. We're closed. We're all the cocaine. So Christopher Lloyd as Abe Simpson. Next up, let's tackle the Bouvier side of the Simpsons. And it's Patty and Selma. Now, Patty and Selma, of course, are twins, but I'd much rather do the social network approach here. Just cast one actor and through camera tricks rather than finding two perfect actresses, which could be really tough. Now we need a specific type of actress and one who feels rough and unsettling, just like the sister should be. But to me, it's very important they have that voice, that chain smoker voice that I just feel like tells you so much about Patty and Selma. I decided Natasha Lyonne, who yes, is much prettier than Selma or even Patty should be, but it's all about that persona. 
that don't give an F attitude that is perfect for this. And that voice. Need I say more? Too easy. A three-way with Gary Oldman and Bella Lugosi. Then I marry Boris Karloff and I kill Hitler. I think she has the hairstyle, which works. And if you copy and paste her, well, you've got your Patty and Selma. So Natasha Leon has Patty and Selma. Next, let's talk about Reverend Lovejoy. Yes, the Reverend of the town, but a lot more. He needs to have this way to him. Someone who can come off and be judgmental, but also kind and give this vibe where he just doesn't really give a shit. Ned should really wear on him from time to time and make him give less of himself, but I think he's got this way when he's out in public that he has this very like cool, uncool priest vibe. Now, I think Ty Burrell has the perfect energy here. That cool slash uncool priest, the judgmental, but also not caring too much. I think he would be absolutely great in here and give the exact energy we'd need for Reverend Lovejoy. Philosophy, a hardbound collection of all the life lessons I've learned, such as, Always look people in the eye, even if they're blind. Just say, I'm looking you in the eye. So Ty Burrell as Reverend Lovejoy. Next up, let's tackle Helen Lovejoy. Now, Helen seems to be outspoken, but completely devout, maybe beyond even her husband. She is quite a lot though, honestly. And we need an actor who can really lean into that and feel a little too in your face. Now, she isn't the biggest character in the series, so I don't think she really needs a massive star here. I ended up on Liz Kakowski, who has some roles here and there, but largely is unknown. But there's something about her face in her brief appearances that I think she's just perfect for You this. do not remember because that house had multiple offers and you screamed at me, do whatever you have to do to get that house. Yeah, I remember that. So I did it. So you have no escrow there. And then I asked you three times, do you understand what escrow is? And once again, you just nodded, just like you are right now. This is how the real estate crisis happened. I can see her being stern and fighting with Ty Burrell, but also being a little stuck up. So Liz Kukowski as Helen Lovejoy. Next up, we'll tackle Milhouse's father, Kurt Van Hoon. Now, Kirk is kind of a loser, and that's probably the one trait that gets exploited over and over again. But he's also a complainer. While some characters are losers like Barney are just okay with it, Kirk is always being annoyed and being upset about it. Jason Alexander is perfect for this. I mean, his time in Seinfeld has shown us some of the best freakout and annoyance-fueled rages we've ever seen. Plus, he perfectly plays that down on his luck and kind of can be boring from time to time. Why did it all turn out like this for me? I had so much promise. <laughs> I was personable. I was bright. Oh, maybe not academically speaking, but <laughs> I was perceptive. I always know when someone's uncomfortable at a party. So Jason Alexander is Kurt Van Houten. So there's my extended family and neighbors of The Simpsons. What did you think of my choices? Next up, we're gonna get to the school employees as well as some of the children. Let me know in the comments below who I shouldn't miss and let me know how I'm doing overall. We are coming to the end of the series. A lot of people have been talking about Narnia, so I might go to that next. Let me know in the comments below. As always though, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.